Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Fun with Lunar Algebra. This is video number three. I will be your host, Wesley Oates. And this week we are given the statement and asked whether it's true. The statement, the mathematical statement being, is five times the determinant of some matrix A the same thing as the determinant of five times that matrix. Now, we have uh, discussed this one in class, and probably you already know the answer to this. But uh, without further ado, we'll go through and, and see whether or not that is the case. Uh, for today's uh, discussion, we're going to be using a matrix that was actually provided uh, by uh, Jenny. And we're going to say that uh, the matrix today is just a 2 by 2 matrix, 3, 1, 4, 2. And we're going to find the determinant of that matrix, which of course would be 3 times 2 minus 4 times 1. And you can probably do it in your head, it's just equal to 2. Uh, and let's compare whether uh, the determinant of 5 times A which would be 15, 5, 20, 10, would be the same. Now, of course, if this or any other counterexample to the above statement can be shown not to be true, then we know that the statement itself is not true. Uh, so if we do the actual calculation, we get 150, that's uh, these two multiplied together, minus these two multiplied together, which is 100, the difference, of course, being 50. Now, as you can see, if we took 5 times this number, it's not going to equal this number. So we can, we can pretty clearly rule out the possibility that 5 times the determinant of a matrix is equal to the determinant of 5 times the matrix. That's just not even true. But there's something interesting going on here with the determinants. You may notice that 50, as it turns out, is actually the same as 2 times 5 to the second. 5 to the second being 25, 2 times that, of course, is 50. Now, what this means is, uh, while the two of them are not exactly, uh, are not going to be the same, uh, we can tell something about a determinant uh, when the, the, the matrix is going to be multiplied. Now, you may recall from a lecture that multiplying any one particular row of a matrix is going to multiply the determinant by the factor. So if, say, you were to, to take the, the original matrix uh, 3, 1, 4, 2, and if you were to multiply, say, maybe the, just the top row, uh, so we're going to take uh, uh, 5 times just that top row, uh, probably ugly notation there, but that's okay. We're going to get 15, 5, 4, 2. And of course, the determinant of that is going to be 30 minus 20, which is equal to 10. So as it turns out, you may recall that the determinant the first time around was 2. This, as it turns out, is exactly 5 times this, uh, that amount. Now, this illustrates what happens when you multiply a single row by a particular factor. Now, if you were to imagine multiplying the entire matrix, you're actually multiplying not just one row, but you're multiplying every row, of course. And so you're, you're, you're going to be multiplying the top row by that, you're going to be multiplying the bottom row by that, and that's what's going to get you to 20 and 10. <clears throat> and that, of course, gets you to the, the determinant being 50, which, as you may recall, was five times 10, which was what it was uh, uh, when we were just multiplying one row. Now what this is indicating is that there's a, a pattern going on here. Uh, and you can count on, if you're going to multiply an entire matrix of n of size n by n, that you're going to be multiplying uh, n different rows by that particular factor. And so you can come up with a, a rule here and say that the determinant of 5a is going to be the original determinant of a 
times five times five times however many rows you happen to have in the matrix. And we can generalize this a little bit. We're going to replace this with k. We're going to replace these fives, of course, with k times k times k, etc. And of course, there are as many k's being multiplied here as there are rows. So we could simplify this a little bit. And rather than saying k times k times k, etc., etc., we could just say k to the n. So this is a pretty nice little expression that will tell you what the determinant is going to be. Uh, if you multiply a matrix by some particular real factor. So the determinant of k times a is going to be equal to the determinant of a times k to the n. All right, uh, this wraps it up for fun with linear algebra for this week. I guess we'll uh, see somebody next time and uh, hope you have a nice day.